Hello and welcome to this exclusive video where we're going to be updating you on all of the key changes to the UCAP for 2022, section by section. These changes are small and admittedly are unlikely to change much of your preparation, but they're worth being aware of so you don't get caught out on the day. So let's kick things off and look at the changes to the quantitative reasoning section. Quantitative reasoning is a well-known time pressured station so this year, you're in luck. The number of questions is unchanged. There's still 36. However, the amount of time to answer these questions has been increased from 24 minutes previously to 25 minutes. That gives you roughly 42 seconds per question compared to 40 seconds before. A small but welcome change. Now on to abstract reasoning. Here, the number of questions has decreased from 55 to 50. Since the questions will still be grouped into fives per set, this means that the abstract reasoning will contain one fewer set. In keeping with this, the time allocated for the abstract reasoning has reduced by one minute from 13 minutes now down to 12. So things aren't going to much change with the time, but on the bright side, there will hopefully be less decision fatigue as you have one less set to complete. Regarding decision making and verbal reasoning, no changes have been made this year. However, there have been some changes to the situational judgment part of the test. The SJT will now be comprised of 66 questions instead of 69, but the timing will remain unchanged for a total of 26 minutes for the section. This means that you have a nice extra three minutes to check over your answers. Additionally, there is a brand new type of SJT question format in the UCAP 2022. This new style of question will give candidates a number of considerations for a situation and ask them to choose the most and least important. This will likely feel familiar though, considering that this new format is a sort of amalgamation of the previous style of importance type questions and the type 3 questions that already exist. We expect there to be a minimum of two or three of these newer format questions in the 2022 exam. So there you have it. Overall, these changes make UCAT a slightly less time pressured exam and as such will have answered the prayers of many candidates. However, remember that they are only subtle and do lots of revision as well. With this in mind, we strongly suggest that you prevent these changes from causing you too much extra worry and instead focus on practice, sample and pass paper UCAT questions. And if you're looking for some extra help, our UCAT experts are available to tailor UCAT revision plans to your personal strengths and weaknesses in an effort to help you ace the latest SJT format and more. Good luck with the UCAT and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to unlock the rest of the course, click the link in the description below.